Early warning weather alert is about to go away. The weather continues to improve. I've seen at times a few lightning flashes from the old Sabra camera, but that thunderstorm has now just weakened to a shower. Let's show you it on early warning pinpoint Doppler. Again, the only live radar across the state. Old Lyme seeing some heavy downpours. Old Saybrook, uh, just some uh, moderate to light rainfall. This is uh, stretching eastward along I-95. As we take a look farther to the north, we do have some uh, downpours happening, but no, uh, nothing severe, so that is good. It is uh, raining, certainly, at a moderate level in Franklin, Basra, uh, Lebanon, and then you go farther to the west, and the rain drops off as you get towards Hebron and and Marlboro. So things are looking better and better as time goes on. We had uh, very active weather earlier across the southwestern part of the state that has fizzled. Uh, Putnam, you are seeing just some light rain across the quiet corner. As we take a look back towards uh, the west, we still have some ongoing clusters of rain and storms headed towards Fairfield County, where they're still under a severe thunderstorm watch until midnight. But things have certainly quieted down significantly. Some places got some additional rainfall. Uh, but we didn't have any flooding issues. The jackpot uh, was near Kent, over two inches across parts of Litchfield County. Otherwise, the amounts uh, certainly drop off, maybe an inch down southwest of Hamden, lighter amounts as you go farther east with time. Let's show you what we can expect the rest of tonight. As we look back to the west, another cluster is going to be skirting the southwestern part of the state and maybe even the shoreline counties as we go through the early morning hours. There may be another batch that develops but in terms of severe weather, that threat is over and done with. Future radar kind of gives you a rough idea of what to expect. It's not going to be exact, clearly. Uh, we are going to be seeing an additional chance for some showers, uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two. But as we get towards 1 o'clock in the morning, indicating a chance for a passing shower, maybe a thunderstorm through 4 o'clock, maybe additional downpours through 6 o'clock in the morning, even through about 10 o'clock. But notice the trend is that the chance for rain starts to decrease. We start to see some more sunshine. Overall, trending better and better as we head into the afternoon hours. So the rain chance will decrease. You'll have opportunities to be outside uh, worry-free. Temperatures overnight tonight are going to be on the muggy side into the upper 60s to around 70 degrees right along the immediate shoreline, a little warmer there. Trending upward, though, getting into the mid-80s, which is uh, pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. We like to see that. Increasing amounts of sunshine. Beautiful afternoon. Again, a few pop-up showers and storms during the morning hours and muggy. Same goes for the shoreline. Very similar weather conditions you can expect. All right. So we have that chance for that muggy weather to make a comeback. It's going to be with us tomorrow with those highs well into the 80s. And that better chance for rain is going to be before about 10 o'clock. Dew point trend, it's all over the place. It goes down a little bit going into Monday, then back up again on Tuesday. And as that happens, that's when we see our next round of rain. And that's going to be not Monday afternoon. It looks like as we head into Tuesday morning, here comes more rain, right? We don't need any more, but we're going to get some more. Early morning seven-day forecast indicates that that temperature will be lower on Tuesday, the coolest day of the week's in terms of temperatures, but it's going to feel muggy with plenty of rain and storms. Late week, though, looking uh, mainly dry and those temperatures starting to climb above average. Speaking of above average, it's going to be mild the next couple of days along the shoreline. That's your early morning weather forecast. Brian? All right. Thanks, Joe.